Welcome back, YouTube. It's your boy, Chinchilla Ruby, coming at you with some Kool-Aid pancakes, okay? So the first step of this recipe is uh, to get all our solid ingredients. You see this? Flour. Earth, water, air. Uh, we gotta put that in a bowl. Mix it up real good. Wire your whistle. Let's go cut. Well, we have gotten all our dry ingredients except for sugar. Now, this is where I'm uh, changing the recipe I found online because I'm getting my sugar as stated, but also uh, I'm going to substitute a bit for it. So I'm going to get this uh, teaspoon. I don't know how much is in this package. Looks like it might be a teaspoon. So I'm just going to get like a teaspoon and uh, take it out of there. That, that's a tablespoon. I hate words. Okay. And, uh, that'll be fine. And now, uh, this is enough to dilute eight cups of, uh, water. So, uh, if we can't taste it, we both got COVID, uh, don't quote that. It's all, uh, bricky and powdery. Yeah, it smells pretty strong. I have high hopes for this. Kind of gives a tingle on your tongue because of the acidity. Now we got to stir that all. Hmm. Okay. Cut. Oh. Okay. I have my wet ingredients. This bowl's a little small, so I didn't mix in all the milk, but the wet ingredients are mixed. The dry ingredients are mixed. I just gotta pour it all together, you know, and mix. Milk goes in. Funny milk goes in. And I gotta mix this until there's minuscule lumps. Uh, yeah. So, viewers, how's your day been going? Comment that. I can smell the mango peach. Uh, that smells pretty good. Even if it didn't taste different, it smells pretty good, I must say. That was pretty fast. Cut. Alright, YouTube. It's all mixed together. I got some thing heating, a plate to set them on. Uh, nothing else happened. This is perfectly fine. This was always the plan. Now, cameraman, get over here. Okay, I'm gonna get a nice hearty scoop and splat it in the middle. I got a spatula, not a pancake turner, because that's what's specified on my recipe. Look at that. Kind of foamy. I doubt you can see it, really, with the same amount of 4K vision that I naturally have. Just. I think two scoops would do it. Perhaps. If you want smaller pancakes, go for one scoop. But we here don't mess around with some small pancakes. good uh rest in peace all my uh ocd viewers uh you'll never you'll never get that one drop this is so sad i'm literally shaking and crying you wouldn't understand this seems to be cooking pretty fast well just wait for a few give it like a minute you gotta get that certain vision you get when you uh, use your x-ray vision and you look from underneath the pan. Not many people can pull that off, but when you've cooked as long as me, uh, you can probably do it. That was good. That was real good. I mean, you gotta see the whole thing, cameraman. <laughs> 
You don't know my style, okay? One time, I made an uncomfortably long cut of me stirring something, and it was uncomfortably long. And then, what, what if they turn too soon? They gotta see the full thing. It's almost ready to turn. Well, that's what I was saying, is, like, almost ready to turn it. <laughs> oh, almost... Ah, yeah. Yeah, he says... Be gone. It didn't... It did not be gone. <laughs> okay. I'm, uh, not a great flipper, I must say. But, uh, if I mess this up, I won't be the one eating it. <laughs> well, then let me flip it, if anything. Oh, you did it! <laughs> I did it, YouTube. We did it, YouTube. A hundred, two hundred and fifty thousand subscribers. Look at that orange. You can tell just by that that I didn't, uh, stir very well. I would maybe blend, uh, the brickish, uh, Kool-Aid before, uh... If you want a more consistent, if you like uh, heterogeneous pancakes, our cameraman's going in for it. He thinks it's done. Uh, I'm inclined to. No. Oh, he's going for that. Yeah. He doesn't want to burn the thing, but fair enough. It's probably almost done. Sorry about the off camera angle. Yeah, it's probably done. All right. With that, we have our. First yeah. pancake of mango -y greatness. Greatness. And that actually turned out for a fir very well for a first. Yeah. Uh, I'll cut to when we have more. Welcome back, Chinchilla Ruby fans. What's up? My name is Bones Tennyson. Uh, so right now, uh, we've been recording on Chinchilla Ruby. I will be leaving a link to his channel in the description. Yeah. Uh, and... I know I haven't posted for a while, basically all my, since I've had super crap quality, even right now is pretty bad, uh, I am waiting until I get more equipment, and once I get the equipment to actually Hi, start Mom. recording good videos. We're recording YouTube. Both of us are recording YouTube. Yep. Are you proud? <laughs> You're both recording? Yeah. What did you make? We made, uh, Kool-Aid pancakes. And we're going to be eating them for you too, because <laughs> right. like. Try to be quiet. I have one more thing to bring. And it tastes like a banana, a banana, a pancake. What? Yeah, it, it was a mango. We used mango coolie for it and. Mango peach. Mango peach. Nice. Actually, isn't that bad, honestly. Uh. Oh yeah, but I'm waiting until I get better equipment. Once I get better equipment, I do just now, I did get a computer a little bit ago. We're getting it all set up. Then once I get all the equipment I need, I will be good to go on creating better videos and... Mmm, dude, get a piece with the fucking orange. Oh, it's so oh, God. bitter. It's so bitter. <laughs> it's so bitter. Holy crud. I didn't even know it's because I had like a piece in my mouth, but I bit down in like that perfect spot that had like a chunk. Jeez. Uh, yeah, definitely blend that before adding it to <laughs> the mixture. Oh god, there's another bitter. But yeah, so that is the basic stuff of what's going on with me. Uh. Welcome back to the Chinchilla Ruby podcast. Uh, I'm joined with co-star uh, Bones Tennyson. Yeah. What, what, what were the? Oh, there. I got like a huge one there. <laughs> oh. It's pretty good. Pretty good for the person that are like smooths out. Yeah. Then you get those like every now and then you'll get those little pieces. Yeah. Like you said, definitely blend. <laughs> uh. 
up before that hits the ground. <laughs> All right, I'm calling it. If you blend it and mix it in, you're probably not going to taste it too much, but it'll slightly alter the flavor. So. <laughs> but if you really like bitter stuff, don't blend it. In fact, don't even break up the chunk. <laughs> In fact, just eat the chunk. But yeah, like I said, I'll be leaving a uh, link to Chinchilla Ruby's channel and more specifically uh, this video of his. Uh, <laughs> so you can see exactly the process that we went through it slowly but surely. For the most part, I was just being a cameraman, but either way, you can like... There were a few times where I actually snickered during it and like it, it was completely stupid but funny. <laughs> Huge chunk or something? Yeah, you can see some residue. Oh, yeah, hold up. Yeah, you gotta see that. Uh, I'm gonna, gonna see some orange. Yeah, you can definitely see that orange, even with my crappy green film. <laughs> yeah, uh, if you wanna watch in a slightly brighter tone, also go check out my video. Yes, for some reason, his iPad is being better than what mine is being. He's got actually good quality for no specific reason. But either way, I accept that. <laughs> If anything, this just gives me dinner for tonight. Bit awesome. of vanilla on my part. Uh, it's not cooked all the way on this particular uh -oh. pancake. Eat that one in the bin. But yeah, honestly, this isn't that bad. Okay, I feel like if we blended it, um, it would have been a lot better. Well, maybe we'll blend it when we do uh, and instead Kool Aid of... French toast. We should honestly do that. That'll be kind of cool. I was thinking about it. Mm. So, uh, podcast topic. We got time. So, uh, 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 Azerbaijan invaded Armenia, Alex. <laughs> Have you heard of this? Not really, I'm sorry, I don't, I don't pay attention to politics or anything going on in the world, honestly. Oof. I'm kind of like in my own little non- But how do you feel about Azerbaijan invading Armenia? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. Okay, um, any other news? Mm, not really that I can think of, honestly. Uh, I'm honestly going to probably keep the videos on my channel that were like really horrible as like a dark age type of deal <laughs> when when I still had horrible stuff, and I'll probably do that. There was one point where I was actually uh, going to upload a tutorial on how to play Unravel from Tokyo Ghoul, that opening, uh, nice. on the piano. And, like, my setup was insane. Uh, I actually used duct tape to tape my iPad all around, like, three times over, if not more, then duct taped it to the ceiling and then made sure it was on there by adding, like, five, six layers of even more duct tape. <laughs> That was hilarious. Nice. Ultimately, though, the plan ended up falling through because it was barely audible. <laughs> well, what you could have done is uh, record the uh, visuals, then record the audio and sync it up. Not wrong. We got to disagree on something, so... Uh, What's something we can disagree on? Because that's fun when podcasts do that. <laughs> uh, haha, say it was good. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Honestly, uh, most of this pancake was actually really thoroughed out. Yeah, the only one I had a problem with was the one that was not cooked all the way. Right, yeah. And most of it was cooked all the way, so. Oh, I got a bit of orange, guys. I got uh -oh. a bit of orange. 
Yeah, it is. <laughs> Honestly, I'm immune. This, <laughs> Honestly, this was a really fun experience. Maybe I'll just drink some Kool-Aid anyway. Eight cups of water, though. Because I don't feel like Honestly, using we half a Honestly, we should have gotten some milk to go along with this. Put the Kool-Aid in the milk. Pretty filling. And after Honestly, about... Yeah. Four flapjacks, I'm done for. Then again, I also ate five slices of pizza a few hours before this. At the same time, though, I'm feeling about the same way. Yeah. It'd be a bit of a struggle to finish all mine. And, you know, everyone loves a good uh, challenge. So, uh, you're resurrecting your channel for a bit. Any other content you plan on making? Uh, mostly gaming content. I've actually been wanting to become a gaming creator. Uh, content for, uh, bleh. a YouTuber for gaming in general. Like, that is my ultimate goal. But I know until then it's going to take a lot to get there. Uh, that's why, like, half my, uh, videos were just, Gaming. <laughs> yeah. However, uh, I do plan on uh, cr creating a sort of uh, series on my own call that I'm calling the Forgotten Theories. Uh, for those who watch and know the YouTuber Matt Pat, otherwise known as the Game Theorist, Film Theorist, etc. Uh, he <coughs> creates... Ooh, that was a heavy one, wasn't it? Oh, I just almost choked and died, Alex. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Yeah, I just, uh, yeah. Uh. Guys. <laughs> is, it, is the Kool-Aid not sitting Carbon well? <laughs> no, carbonation or something from the whipped cream, I guess. Carbonated whipped cream, what? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, uh, but yeah, for those of you who know, like, the game theorist, film theorist, uh, theorist, food theory, all of that, uh, created by the same people, the, uh, Matt Pat, uh, Courtney, um, just those, uh, those two in general, uh, plus again, their whole crew, they've got like a whole crew, Jason, all of them. Anyway, uh, I'm going to be creating a theory section of my channel that will be little, uh, again, what I'm calling the forgotten theories, basically what it will be is, uh, Theories that I feel like either MatPat will not go over, has neglected to go over, or even sometimes views on even theories that he might have done already. So it'll just be like mainly my views on other theories. And again, I will be doing my own research and fingers crossed that this goes well because honestly, I don't know how well it's going to go. Uh, the... Mm. Ugh. Uh, the research for the very first video I'm doing uh, related on this topic is actually one based on the show Troll Hunters. A uh, kid finds a magical amulet, gives him the ability to stop evil trolls, long story. Anyway, in one of the episodes, he stops time for precisely 42 minutes and 7 seconds, if Stand I remember correctly. Easy. <laughs> uh, due to an item called the Kyrosect. He did a ton of running around, and honestly, I feel like could he have done that on time? I'm going to do a little research, figure out where uh, it takes place in the real world because uh, it says it takes place in Arcadia Oaks, but honestly, I don't think that's a real place. I'm going to do some research on that too. If it's not a real place, I have to do some research on like uh, what it's actually, what the place is actually based off of. In other news, I'm going to release a Minecraft parody of a choir song. Sometime. Probably within uh, the next two weeks. Awesome sauce. Yeah. I, I think I'm going to cut uh, my part here. I don't know if he's going to continue. Maybe. Uh, yeah, I'm probably going to end in a few anyway myself. All right. If he was going on, I'd link his. Uh, I still probably will link his. I might forget. It, if I don't put it in the description, it'll be a pinned comment. Ugh. Peace, Chinchilla Ruby fans.